Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Branch Nay, and today I'm going to be doing my Second Star Books unboxing, which is my very first unboxing with this company and subscription box. I was interested in doing this box in particularly because of what was um, in the box and also for what they stand for. It's one box equals one book, which means every box that is bought will be will equal one book that will be donated to a child that's in need and I really think that's really cool so I'm just gonna stop rambling and go ahead and get started on unboxing this this is what it looks like in the inside which is nice little nice wrapping paper And what I first see is a magnet that says Conspiracy of Magic Book One, Ruthless Magic, USA Today bestselling author Megan Crew. That's pretty cool. And my son just ripped the paper, but it's all it's all good. He's helping me unbox it. Make sure he doesn't take that in his mouth first thing that I also see is this it's an exclusive enamel pen and it looks like it's like a, a knife that has a little splatter blood on it you can see the blood at the tip of the knife which that's pretty neat I like pens collecting just started The next thing I see is a wood bookmark and it says she imagined the, tex the texture of the heart through her gloved hands, placing it gently in a jar. Slowly, piece by piece, she went through the full dis dis dissection until there was nothing left unpackaged or unlabeled. And it has like a little heart and then it says not even bones. I like wood marks, uh, wood bookmarks because they seem to last longer than the paper ones. And I think that's pretty neat how they drew the heart. And then we also have, this isn't your game anymore, Megan Crew Beast. This is, um, Max Weston has the world wrapped around his little finger until a strange beast attacks his best friend, Davey, in the woods. As Davy heals something, heals something monstrous awakens inside him. Something intent on destroying everything Mac cares about. Um, Max would do anything to save his best friend, but how much will he lose in the process? Tin Wolf meets Pretty Little Liars in this edge of your seat. Supernatural thriller. Oh, so this is a free um, download. So it's like free copy of this book. So that's pretty cool. I like that they give you like a free download of a book. And then we have another bookmark and it says a mortal song by Megan crew okay so we're promoting Megan crew I guess this is another book that she has and it says Sora's life was full of magic until she discovered it was all a lie a tale of sword play and sorcery mortality and music set in modern-day Japan um, it says it's a beautifully, beautifully fantastic and delicately drawn. A mortal song has lots of magic, lots of heart, and lots of love, or lots to love. Uh, Kendar Blake said this from who had wrote the Three Dark Crowns, and it's double sided. So that's me. I like this woman. It reminds me of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which that was one of my favorite movies. Next we got, it looks like a candle, which I like candles. And it says, Mikado de la Muerte. Um, it's a bookish candle for bookish people and it's dark cherries, almond and vanilla. Here's the top part which has Second Star Books logo on it. And let's go ahead and open it and see what it smells like. Mm. Oh, that smells good. And this is what it looks like. A little Woodwick candle. Mm. This smells really good. I smell more of the dark cherry and the vanilla than the almonds. 
<laughs> Looks like my son likes it. You can't have it, buddy. Then we have this box. <laughs> and it looks like it's a second it's another enamel pin of a heart. I like the detail it has. But yeah, another pin. So that's great. I get two pins in one box. And then we have ooh, oh wow. It says beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful by Mary Shelley Frankenstein. Oh, that's a classic. And my son wants to join in. Go ahead and grab hold of it. But I like this. This is my first banner. Hopefully my son doesn't destroy it. <laughs> ah. But yeah, this is neat. And it has like, looks like blood on it as well. Like this blood draining down. Then, the next we have, I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. Maybe it's something you can put on your pins. I think it's something you can put your pins on because it hangs. So I'm assuming this is what it is, but it's really cool. I haven't seen anything made like this and it looks like real wood too on the edges. But we'll see once I see the spoiler part. Maybe I'll look at it after I see everything. Actually, I don't think I got a spoiler card. Oh, that sucks. And then we have the two books that come in the book box. I'm gonna open the smaller book. Okay. All right. So first is the skinny book that I'll do. I'll open up first. Mary Shelley Frankenstein or the modern <laughs> Prometheus. Okay. So they said that there would be a classic in this book, but I didn't know it would be um, Frankenstein. And this is a, like a custom, an exclusive cover of this book as well. And I think that's amazing. Just look at the beautiful flower in it. Oh, that's so cute. Because they also did a classic previous with Jane Eyre's um, book that I liked. It was really nice. It had the heart and everything. But this one, it has a flower in it. And this is amazing cover. And then it says on the back, if I cannot inspire love, I will cause fear. But definitely a classic and I definitely will read this in October since it basically goes with the theme. But that's really, just really amazing. But yay, I got this. It's so small print though, look at how small it is, oh my gosh. I like it and it looks beautiful on my bookshelf so this will be definitely a display the next book which is a debut author let's see what it is not even bones by Rebecca Schaefer portrayal is a bloody business I was not expecting this book, but I like it. And then that goes along with the enamel that I just got with the pen that has blood on the knife. So that was like a hint that I just did not, I did not see coming. But I'm gonna go ahead and read the synopsis for you and see what it's about. It says on the back, it takes a special type of monster to dissect dead people and sell them without guilt. Oh, that's gruesome. And it says, uh, from the from New York Times by Ellie Blake, um, she said, Gritty, compelling, a tale to feed the monster and all of us. I couldn't put this one down. Hmm. And it says, Nita doesn't murder supernatural beings and sell their body parts on the internet. 
Her mother does that. Nina just dissects the bodies after they've been acquired until her mom brings home a live specimen and Nina decides she wants out. Dissecting a scared teenage boy is a step too far, but when she decides to save her mother's victim, she ends up sold in his place because Nita herself isn't exactly human. She has the ability to alter her biology, a talent that is priceless on the black market. Now on the other side of the bars, if she wants to escape, Nita must ask herself if she's willing to become the worst kind of monster. Dexter meets this savage song in this dark fantasy, the first in a trilogy from debut author Rebecca Schaefer. And within this book, I have a signed book plate by the author, which is cool. And then we have an, a letter by the author, and I'll go ahead and read that to you guys. And it says, Dear Reader, I have always loved villains. So have I. I think villains are more interesting and their backstory is way more interesting. It's not the typical type of uh, princess story you would get where they live happily ever after. We have villains where their backstory and their story doesn't actually end in happily ever after. But I think villains are definitely, like I said, more interesting to me because I think there's more to, to the villain that meets the eye. But anyway, it says, Dear Readers, I have always loved villains. Ever since I was a child, I loved how complex and nuisance uh, their motives were. I love that their ambitions took the front stage. They had a goal and they went for it no matter what was in their way. I knew no matter what I wanted to write a book about villains and all their different iterations and, and so Not Even Bones was born. Um, I wanted a story with complex multifaceted characters with questionable morals. Characters that didn't always do the honorable or heroic thing where the good people had bad news or bad ends, where righteousness and pure motives got, got you nowhere, where those who survived were always going to be a shade of gray, a story where the line between human and monster was fuzzy and changed depending on what side you looked at it from. When I started writing the story, I never imagined it would be the book I debuted with. I wasn't really sure that anyone aside from me would want to read a book with all, with an all villain cast, a book that was incredibly dark, that had a main character who was ruthless and would do anything to survive. So thank you to all of you who are picking up this book and making this dream possible. This book is my love letter to villains, monsters, and questionable morals. I hope that you enjoy it. Before you read, remember, you've been warned here be monsters Rebecca Schaefer so that's pretty cool um this is great this fits in with everything that I like because I am a villain person and I'll definitely be reading this in October of course the best time of year to read everything villain monster Halloween type thing but that is all that I had in this book box I was really excited to get this first box I'm glad that since I bought this book or this book box a book will be sent to a child in need which is very important so they can read and everything like that this was pretty cool so I can start putting my pins on this now because I didn't have nowhere to put my pins so thank you second star books so much for this and also this candle is phenomenal I'll definitely be lighting it soon because I like having my candles lit up as you know as I'm reading because it gives a nice a nice ambiance if you will but I also love this banner like this just blown me away this is my first banner that I got and I like how it just shows blood which is amazing and goes along with the theme and the book <laughs> and last but not least I definitely love these pins which I'll definitely be putting on this which we have the heart and the blade with the little blood on it which is amazing you guys I am so excited that I got this book and this box because it seems like this company is amazing and I definitely will be doing I'll be getting more boxes from them in the future so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this uh, this unboxing um if you like this video please give me a thumbs up also hit that button subscribe and also hit that bell that way you'll be notified that I have upload videos from now and in the future but thank you so much guys and I'll see you later see ya